My name's Mike. Mike? Yep. My name's Kelsey. Kelsey, by the way. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, too. I both work with the families, and also probably the most gratifying, if not humbling, is the principals. Yeah. Um, and typically, it's uh, it's going to be a guy who comes in in the shade of yellow or gray, and he's got a, a finite amount of time left, and he's picking out what he wants to do, uh, how he wants to go out, and uh, in what he wants to go out. These guys are taking control when they're losing the ultimate control. So, yeah. that, so that, you know, is uh, again a very gratifying part of the job, very humbling. And are you happy? Does, uh, I mean, any aspect of your work carry over to like how you feel about life or anything? I'm just curious to know. Um, for me, it's, it's uh, playing in the sandbox. I get to work with power tools. I get to, uh, uh, not that it runs very deep, but you get to address your uh, the creativity within yourself. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm happy with it. Yeah, absolutely. How do you feel uh, about the neighborhood being in this uh, part of town? I've seen the changes. I've, I've been around this part of the town. Um, the family business was not too far from here, so I've seen uh, the changes. Yeah. I do get students coming in here out of curiosity and such from Hamlin and yeah. elsewhere. You get people uh, out of curiosity um, when it was warmer and the snow banks weren't around. Uh, I'd have the front door propped open and I would get somebody at least every day. Wow. Uh, just out of curiosity, just, just the, the thing that drew you your attention to it. it, it it's not often seen. But my personal favorite or uh, design I would go for uh, should I ever die, and of course I'm never going to, <laughs> no one's ever going to, but I would go for something like this, it's a classic yeah. uh, toe pincher, I like the rope handles, uh, I like the natural uh, 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 knots and imperfections, which, you know, I, I say it's just a, a metaphor for life in itself, you know, it's not for everybody, but uh, I have fun doing it, and uh, uh, a lot of people find uh, uh, comfort and enjoyment in it, so to speak. You know, it's, uh, uh, you know, want to do that? Could I? Absolutely. That would be awesome. And it's dimensions. Yeah, it really is. I mean, like, I don't feel constricted. <laughs> it's kind of comfy with the pillow in here, too. Yeah. And it smells great. <laughs> Dude, get it as a bed. <laughs> I've never laid down in a coffin before. Most people don't. Until oh. it's too late to truly enjoy it. Until it's too late. Yeah, you don't even <laughs> truly enjoy it, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. No, I had a friend in from uh, Portland, Oregon. Uh, he was helping me for a little bit. And, uh, Not bad. Uh, <laughs> That's really good. He, uh, he slept in one for about five nights. He got sick of the couch. And just blankets and then he slept in there and said he's never had better dreams. It, it's very, uh, it's very fun to do. What'd you think of that? Really interesting. Uh, wasn't it uh, exactly what I expected, to be honest. I can see why he's happy, though. Yeah, no, absolutely. Because he gets to work with his hands, he gets to, you know, help people out um, in creative ways and in ways of like you know emotionally being there yeah you know so it doesn't feel like what you do is worthless you know because a lot of people feel that way in their jobs in life so I feel like that he gets happiness from the fact that he has meaning in his in his work yeah in many different aspects to be honest so very interesting I would have never thought of that something how did you feel about being inside the coffin was that strange at all or was not, it not really not really I think um if I was because there's going to be a dead person in there someday you know and yeah, I, I mean, wasn't assuming like, business is good. <laughs> assuming his business is moving. <laughs> I felt kind of comfortable, and I think it was because of the mood and the setting in that place and the way that, you know, obviously we weren't there to buy a coffin either. Yeah. I think it would be a different situation if I was lying in a coffin and I was at like a, you know, a funeral home. Sure. And then just a whole different feeling. That the environment. Yeah, exactly. Because in there, I, I kind of got, I had the same feeling as if I was in just like a local craft store in a way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or an art store, even. So. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs>